What's going on everybody, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. All right guys, $500 a day, 20 trading days inside a month equals $10,000 a month. That is not a small chunk of change. In this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how I was able to finally become consistently profitable after a few years of making so many mistakes in the market. Luckily, I was able to find this strategy about six or seven years ago. Now, I use the word strategy, but please do not think about this as being this crazy strategy where we're looking at all these crazy indicators, looking for the perfect time to enter and exit a position. I think a lot of people are getting really confused by all these different indicators and strategies, and they're missing the big picture on how the stock market runs and how charts operate. Two things support and resistance. So I'm gonna break this down in a very, very simplistic manner for you. Now, if you are inside the group, this video is gonna resonate you, with you really well because you've seen my daily list every single morning pre-market, and now you're gonna get a little bit better of an understanding behind my thought process when I am creating these lists. And if you're not inside the group, don't worry about it. I'm gonna break everything down for you. There are two things before we get started. One, this video is for individuals who have a smaller account. If you have a larger account, chances are you've already found a strategy that works for you. If you have a smaller account, I know what your number one goal is, to grow your account. And you don't have to chase crazy alerts. You don't have to buy these low volume penny stocks only to get front loaded by somebody who has a bigger account than you just to get dumped on. This is gonna give you an entirely different perspective. And we're gonna be looking at blue chip, household name stocks that you guys probably never look at and it's going to give you an amazing opportunity number two we're going to be talking about options all right the reason why we're talking about options is because it gives you range it's very hard to find a comfortable play to enter in confidently where you don't have a massive amount of risk and get a 10 20 30 40 even 60 percent gain out of it you can only do that with options. Now, if you've been burned on options before, I'm gonna break down exactly how to do this and show you a very, very simple manner. So let's get into it. First off, guys, this is the watch list that I put out every single day, not only for myself, but everybody inside the group. And I detail some things very specifically. And the reason why I'm showing you this is to just show you of exactly what I called out at 9.17 a.m. this morning by utilizing very simple things, support and resistance, and showing you what would have happened if you followed these to a T. And that doesn't mean go jump into the group. I'm gonna show you exactly where these levels come from. So let's take a look at the first one on the list. Boeing, looking to get the 114, 220 call. If the price gets above 218 or, or 210 put, if it gets below 215. So now you've given it a, an option, okay? No matter where the market goes or where the stock goes, you can play this. You don't, you always have to chase things to the upside. So you have both directions to play this. Now, first off, there are two things before we jump over into this chart. The reason why I am playing Boeing is one, there's been good options flow on it. It is a very liquid stock and there is heavy volume on the options chain. Now you don't wanna play a stock that has low volume, like 300 contracts, 400 contracts, 500. And the reason behind that is because your spreads are gonna be very wide. And your spread is the difference between the bid and the ask. The reason being is because when you buy this, if, you, if the spreads are very wide, you might buy this and immediately be read 15 or 20% before the stock even moves. And you're gonna have a more difficult time selling this, okay? That is why I always recommend to play the SPY, which we're gonna look at in, in, in later on in this video, but I wanna look at this one first. So right away, I had 218, you're gonna buy 220 calls, 215.50, you're gonna buy 210 puts. Clearly, as you can see, it got above 218. I have my lines here, buy the calls, buy the puts. Now, before we get into exactly the calls or the puts, why did I come up with 218 or 215? That's where we look pre-market. And as you can see right here, pre-market on Boeing, it had resistance at 218, showing that there was sellers and individuals that wanted to short the stock at that level. So I know based on very simple strategies, 
if we break above that resistance and can hold, we're going to move higher. And if we break below that support, we're going to move lower. Now, where did 215.50 come from? Well, we had a little bit at 216 very early on in the morning and a little bit after hours. But I wanted to give myself a little room. As you can see very faintly here, there were a couple of moves that I had made down to this level of 215, as well as that little bounce we had the day before. Very simple. That's my low level. That is my support. If stock gets above, I buy my calls. If stock gets below, I buy my puts. Now, why did I choose 220 and 210? Now, first off, it doesn't mean that the stock is going to go to 220 or it doesn't mean the stock is going to go to 210. The reason why I choose these is because I'm looking at the volume one and two, what is in my price range. Now, if I were to play Tesla and the price was 1047, I probably wouldn't buy the 1050 call because that contract is so expensive. Okay, it would be $4,000 for one contract. This is a little bit more in my price range. Now, I might buy 10, 20, even 50 of these. But like I said, if you have a smaller account, this is what you want to utilize. So find something that could be very comfortable for you. And like I said, volume, 220 calls, highest volume. Look on the put side, which one has the highest volume on the put? 215, but like I said, if we got below 215.50, a little bit too close, right down to the 210. So let's take a look at what would have happened if you followed this. Very simply, we're gonna copy this number, go over to the charts. Now, before we look at the options chart, Let's take a look at when you could have purchased this contract. So if you're new to options, and a lot of people ask me this all the time, Jeff, do you get into these right away or do you wait a little bit? I like to wait a little bit when it comes to options. I play the open. It's very volatile. I love the action. I love the rush, but I'll play shares. Okay. I really won't get into options because the options chain opens right at 930. It doesn't have pre-market. Okay. So it opens up right at 930 and things in the spreads can be a little bit of wide volume hasn't floating yet. So I like to flow a little bit. So let's say you didn't play this right here, right out of the open the first minute. Okay. And you waited a little bit. So now you're waiting, you're waiting for 215.50 to buy a put, or you're waiting for that 218 to buy a call. You could have purchased this at 943, or if you wanted to wait for a little bit more confirmation, okay, for the retest, 948. So 943, 948, you entered Boeing. Let's take a look at exactly of what that 220 call would have done at that time frame. Okay. So let's take a look. We've got 943 right here. Whoops. 943 right here. Price was 177. 948, wait a little bit. 179 in the middle, 180. Let's use 180. What would have happened if you purchased? With your $500 account, just two contracts, total $360. If you rode that up to a high, you would have closed out plus 83%. Now, let's say you're really, really, really trying to squeeze the most out of it. And so you held and you saw here it didn't make a higher high, but you're like, you know what? Let me just wait a little bit longer. And you held here. You still could have gotten out of it at a minimal of a 60% gain waiting to see if you can get the most out of this stock. 60% on $360. One play would have brought you anywhere between, let's say, $200 and $225 with only $360 of buying power. So if you had $1,000, $500, boom. One play, 20 minutes, done. Now, before you even ask this, okay, we're playing with the expiration of 114, which means we are two days out. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will play that Friday, okay? If it's Thursday, Friday, you don't want to play. So like tomorrow and Friday, you'd want to go one more week out, 121. The reason why I'm saying that is especially if you have a smaller account and you're newer to options, they're more volatile the closer you get to the expectations or the expirations, I'm sorry. Also, I never hold these overnight. Very quick, 60%, 25 minutes, okay? Now let's go back to the charts and let's take a look at SPY, all right? SPY was the next one. But let's even take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA, 290 over 281.75, 270, 278. Very simple. We go over to NVIDIA, we find it. 
We have, well, I didn't draw lines on it. Oh, yes, we did. Here we go. We have our lines drawn, calls, puts. Right here, as you can see, you zoom in. Add calls at this time. You could have bought it any time throughout here. All right, so let's look at that midline, 282. Any time in between right here. And if you go over to the charts, what did I say, 290? Yeah, 290 above, let's say 282 as a round number. 290, we take this right here, spreads are tight, high volume. As you can see, the highest volume in open interest. That's why we chose this. All right, you copy, go over to charts, paste this one in, zoom in to look at exactly what your play could have been. As you can see, it's around this time frame, anywhere between 180. Let's say you even purchased it a little bit higher at 190 to the middle. 31%. Very simple. 31%. You go back over, you look at Nvidia. Very simple. You draw your lines. Okay. 282. Little the reason why I have 282 is at the last minute we had some resistance up here at 280. I think I started writing these notes at, at 282. I'm sorry. I think I started writing these notes and they were at 280. 282 gets above it, it's gonna want more. Why do I have my line here at 278? Right here, support held break of support, it's gonna come down even more, okay? Now, I didn't get in, I didn't get into the puts right here because like I said, I already had made some, made some on the calls on this side. Last one we are gonna talk about, which is what I recommend every single person to start out with is SPY. It is so liquid, your spreads are only one cent, which means the minute you buy it, you're not starting off in the red. Let's take a look. 475 call above 472 and a quarter, 467 below, 469. Why 469? Look where it bounced pre market. Okay. 472.50, as you can see, resistance. You draw your lines right here. Don't want to play the open. That's okay. You wait for it, gets above it. Got above it right here at about 954. We jump back over to trade. When I have 475s, jump back over to trade. You look at your 475s. As you can see, the spreads are very, very tight. You copy it, zoom into it, and here we have it. You look at where you would have been. Right around here, sell up here, 22%. A little bit less, but let's take one deeper look at the SPY. And like I said, knowing these levels are very important, okay? Right here, 469, if it breaks below that. If you had identified this as a good support for SPY, like was called out, and you had purchased the same contract at 1117, you could have taken your $500 and within 15 minutes, another 70%. So think about this going forward. If you are interested, come check out the group. Love to help everybody I possibly can. If you're not, that's fine. Take a look at where it's pre-market. Draw your own lines. If it gets above this, okay, I'm gonna buy my calls. If it gets below this, I'm gonna buy my puts. If it bounces off that support, I'm gonna look into calls. The good thing about buying at support, which I don't do all the time, if it's a momentum stock, I like to buy breakouts, everybody knows that. But if it's a, something like SPY, which is obviously not a momentum stock, look at support because your downside is so low. If you bought calls at this level at 46, let's say 469.20, all right, you already know that's where your support is, 469. The second it smashed below and got down here, you immediately could have gotten out of it. So your downside would have been what, 10%, maybe 15% on the contract, okay? At, at most, it could have been as low as five if you identified and got out quick, but your upside was 70%, all right? So whether your account, like I said, a thousand dollar account, thousand bucks, could have made seven hundred bucks. One play done, just on this move right here. Fifteen minutes, you're done. Done with your day. Seven hundred bucks. So I hope this video gave you a little bit different of a perspective. It's already fifteen, almost fifteen minutes, so I didn't want to make it too long. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Rewatch this video if you do want me to, exp you know, expand on this. I'd be more than happy to. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.